Eucharist, I celebrate the heavenly Eucharist in daily life. I live the Eucharist, Lord Jesus Christ, so oh heavenly Eucharist. The supreme grace of heavenly repose. Lord, fill me now with this heavenly blessing. Lord, fill me now with this heavenly blessing. To dispel sin and become myself a blessing. I believe. In the Eucharist, I celebrate the heavenly Eucharist in daily life. I live the Eucharist, Lord Jesus Christ, so oh heavenly Eucharist. I believe in the Eucharist, I celebrate. The heavenly Eucharist in daily life. I live the Eucharist, Lord Jesus Christ, to oh heavenly Eucharist. Jesus, praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I believe. I believe in the Holy Eucharist. I believe in your real presence, O oh Lord. I believe, I trust, I surrender. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. It is you, Lord, truly present in the Holy Eucharist. In the Eucharistic bread, Jesus, it is you. It is you, Lord, looking at us now, looking at every one of us with compassion and love, waiting to forgive us, waiting to heal us, waiting to fill our hearts with your love and your joy. Lord, we praise you, we thank you, we adore you, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let us profess our faith in the Holy Eucharist. As we look at the Eucharistic bread, the Lord is whispering into our hearts, This is my body. This is my body to be broken for you. Here is the greatest of all the manifestations of love. God becoming so small, as a piece of bread and coming to us. Jesus, you came down, the Son of God that you were. You came down to the manger as a little babe. You made yourself so small as a little babe, a helpless baby in the manger. And you grew up in grace and power. But then you offered that body on the cross to save us. As a ransom for many. That we may not perish. You fulfilled the mission entrusted to you, Lord, by your Heavenly Father. By offering yourself on the cross. But even before that, you decided to continue to stay with us in another form in the form of bread and you took bread in the last supper and you said this is my body and thus you fulfilled the promise you gave in Kavanam I will become bread for you I will become bread for you I am the heavenly bread come down from heaven 
that you may eat of me that you may become one with me that I may become one with you that you may live forever you are the living bread you are the son of god with simon peter we want to say it now you are the son of the living god praise you jesus we thank you jesus praise you jesus we worship you lord jesus we adore you oh jesus it is you jesus that we see in the piece of bread it is you jesus it is you you telling us this is my body lord we want to look at your face and experience your love flowing into our hearts let us begin this chaplet of divine mercy opening our hearts for god's mercy to descend into our hearts and fill us you expired lord jesus for the source of life gushed forth for souls and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world o font of life unfathomable divine mercy envelop the whole world and empty yourself out open us o blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of jesus as a font of mercy for us i, I trust, trust in, in you o blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of jesus as a font of mercy for us i, I trust, trust in, in you o blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of jesus as a font of mercy for us i, I trust, trust in you, you. Our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus Holy, Holy Mary, Mary mother, mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the, the hour of our death amen I believe in God the, the Father, Father almighty creator of heaven and earth and in Jesus Christ his, his only son our Lord he was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit born of the virgin mary suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended into hell on the third day he rose again from the dead he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of god the father almighty from there he will come to judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and life everlasting amen let us meditate on the real presence of jesus in the holy eucharist and the one grace we want to ask of him is the grace of faith that we may be able to open our eyes of faith and see Jesus so often we have seen the eucharistic bread on the altar we did not feel anything we did not worship him we did not adore him we did not surrender a life to him and therefore we went out of his presence as we came in today you are inviting us come to me come to me come into my presence come into my love all of you who are tired and burdened i will give you rest lord we are waiting for your rest and that rest that heavenly comfort will come to us only when we are able to recognize your presence we are able to surrender our lives we are able to worship you lord your word tells us 
that the very purpose of our life is to worship is to surrender our life because it is only in worshiping there is heavenly comfort and heavenly joy flowing into our hearts and filling us to moses lord you said set my people free that that they may come and worship me and moses told pharaoh god's people are to be set free that they may worship lord the very aim of our life is to worship you is to adore you is to place the life in your hands and asking for that grace the grace of faith we pray the first decade eternal father i offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ an atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful The Lord is waiting to give us rest. The Lord is waiting to intervene into our lives. There is someone here accused of a a false theft case. The Lord is setting him free, giving him the rest from all that doubt tension in his heart there's a woman here a wife suspected by her husband she's so upset about it she feels ashamed about it because doubted falsely and blamed all the time the lord is setting 
her and her husband free from that terrible disaster in marriage that they may be able to trust in each other that they may be able to come together in prayer look at the face of jesus the lord is setting you free to worship him cassia constance linet navin lord is telling you jeremiah 3241 i will take delight in doing good to them i will take delight in doing good to them there's a delight of god jesus it's your delight in taking in doing good to us whenever anyone cried out in sorrow in despair you went to him and healed doing good to them that leper if you want you can heal me you went to him and asked him what do you want me to do for you and he said i want to be healed lord you healed him you take delight in doing good to us comforting us the man with a problem of impediment of speech and hearing jesus you took him away from the crowd and put your finger into his ear and with spittle touched his tongue and you you groaned a father be opened jesus your groaning you took all the pain from the heart of that man and he groaned lord you are groaning because you know how hurt we are how distressed we are you take all our distress into your heart lord you take delight you take delight in doing good to us hallelujah hallelujah praise you jesus thank you lord we worship you we adore you lord you take delight in healing us you take delight in restoring us to health praise you jesus thank you lord jesus praise you let us let us sing together jesus you are the lover of my soul you are my lover you love me you take delight in doing good to me i surrender i want to believe this looking at your face oh lord in the holy eucharist i want to believe in this that you take delight in doing good to me you jesus you're the lover of my soul jesus lover of my soul jesus i will never let you go you take me from the mary clay set my feet upon a rock and now i know i love you i need you though my world may fall i'll never let you go my savior my closest friend i will worship you until the very end i love you i need you though my world may fall i'll never let you go my savior my closest friend worship you until the very end Jesus lover of my soul Jesus I will never let you go you take me from the mary clay 
set my feet upon a rock and I know I love you I need you Though my vomit fall I'll never let you go My Savior My closest friend I will worship you Until the very Praise you, Lord Jesus. Praise you, thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise you, you, Jesus, the lover, the lover of my soul. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In this second decade, let us remember very carefully what God said to Moses. There is no worship in the land of idolatry. There is no worship in the land of idolatry. When Moses said to Pharaoh, let my people go, God is telling, let my people go. Pharaoh came to a compromise. I will build a temple for your God in my land. Your people can worship your God in my land. And God said, no. There's no worship in the land of idolatry. Egypt was a land of injustice, of idolatry. Sin dominated in that country. And there's no worship. Lord, is my family a place of sin where sin dominates? Is my heart a place of evil where evil thoughts, evil designs, evil imaginations always reign in my heart, in my work, in my living? Then I cannot worship. I cannot take delight in worshipping my God. My God cannot take delight in doing good to me. Lord, I am I'm so sad. Too many things are going wrong with my life, with my family, with my relationships only because I'm not able to worship. There is sin. Set me free. I ask your pardon, Lord, for every sin of my heart. I'm waiting for your mercy to descend into my heart, into my family, into all my relationships, into the place of my work that I may not live in the land of idolatry. Let us pray the second decade. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, an atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, and on the whole world For the sake Of the sorrowful passion Have mercy on us And on the whole world For the sake Of the sorrowful passion Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion 
have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of the sorrowful Mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of the sorrowful. The Lord is setting us free, free from every power of sin dominating our hearts. There's a, there's a young person here who is enslaved to pornography and he finds his life more and more dried up and empty. He's not able to worship the Lord. He's not able to rejoice in the presence of God. The Lord is setting that person free. All the time what dominates in his heart is that urge, drive to go into pornography and when he comes out of it, he feels empty he feels guilty and miserable and the Lord is setting that person free, telling him if the sun sets you free you shall be free indeed but someone all the time giving in to thoughts of despair blasphemy unable to find it easy to believe in God. The Lord is setting that person free, free to worship Him. The purpose of liberation is worship. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank praise you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank, praise you, Jesus. Jesus. Praise you, Thank Jesus. you, Lord. Thank you, Thank Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise Thank you. you. Jesus. Raymond. Raymond Cheryl. Amy Clifford. The Lord is telling you, John 8, 36, if the Son sets you free, you shall be free indeed. Lord, send your Spirit. As you promised, I will send my Spirit into your heart, the Holy Spirit into my heart to set me free, totally free from all the evil drives, all the evil, sinful powers in me. And habits in me. Lord set me free. Holy Spirit anoint me. With your power from above. Spirit of God dwell within me. And liberate me. Completely. Let's all sing together. Spirit of God. Spirit of God in the clear running water, blowing to break nurse the trees on the hill. Spirit of God in the finger of morning, fill the earth, bring it to earth.
altar in the presence of God every evil addiction every painful memory that haunts us all the hatred in our hearts all the powers of evil as St. Paul tells us Romans 7.15 I don't know what is happening to me I want to be good. It's good that I want to do, but I end up doing the wrong. I understand there are powers of sin in me. The Lord is intervening with a mighty arm as the Lord did to the people of Israel in Egypt. With a mighty arm, God is intervening to set every one of us free the people of Israel never forgot that. All the time praising God for that intervention with a mighty arm. Lord, we are waiting for your mighty arm to remold us, to strike the powers of evil, to break the chains of darkness in us and set us free. Lord, your mercy, let your mercy descend upon us now and liberate us completely we pray for your mercy eternal father i offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ an atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion Have mercy on us and on the whole world For the sake of the sorrowful passion Have mercy on us and on the whole world Sorrowful passion, have mercy. 
Here is a message for you. Message for everyone waiting upon the Lord. From Psalm 29, 5. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Your heart overflows with the joy of the Lord. You, my brother, you, my sister, were keeping the cup your heart closed against God and therefore the Lord could not fill your cup, your heart, your relationship. Now your cup is overflowing, abundance, grace in abundance flowing, flowing into your heart. But I want to sing. Lord, I want to sing in joy. I want to sing joyfully, rejoicing in your presence because my cup is full. My heart is filled with your love and peace. I was a slave. I was mourning. I was enchained. Lord, you are liberated. You set me free to worship you, to be there for you. And Lord, my cup is overflowing. I, I want to sing, O oh Lord. One thing you did after bringing your people out of the land of idolatry was to heal them by giving a very solemn revelation I am the Lord that healeth thee book of Exodus chapter 15 verse 26 the people of God fell ill and they prayed to you and your revelation came 
resounding in the horizons i am the lord that healed thee but lord you gave a warning if you really listen to my voice and do what is right in my eyes i will be the lord that healed thee you shall not be like the people of egypt living in slavery of sin you are liberated from slavery to evil lord i offer to you every ailment of my body of my mind offer to you all the pain in my heart i offer to you all the painful memories that torment me all the time i offer to you everything hurting in my heart and in my body everyone in my family my son who is sick my daughter who is all the time upset my husband having a problem with drinking my wife always always sad i bring every sickness of the heart and mind and body and soul to you lord i claim your revelation i am the lord that healeth thee the revelation you are giving to me now from this altar from the holy eucharist i am the lord that healeth thee and praying for your mercy i we recite we pray this decade eternal father i offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ an atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole Asha Tanya 
Audrey Jonathan Marisa pray all of us shall pray with the psalmist Psalm 117 verse 18 open my eyes o lord to see clearly the wonders of your word the wonders your word is working around me this universe is a wonder the wonder of your word my own body is a wonder of your word the holy eucharist is a wonder of your word every healing is a wonder of the word of god lord that word you are pronouncing now go in peace your faith has healed you let me open my eyes see the wonders of your word jesus thank you for the healing thank you for the peace you are giving me now in my heart in my family hallelujah hallelujah praise you jesus thank you lord jesus praise you jesus thank you lord praise you jesus thank you lord let's all sing together give me joy Give me joy in my heart, give me praise. Give me joy in my heart, I pray. Give me joy in my heart, give me praise. Give me praise until the end of day. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King. Give me love in my heart. Give me service. Give me love in my heart. I pray. Give me love in my heart. Give me service. Give me serving till the end of day. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King. of kings sing hosanna sing hosanna sing hosanna to the king as we pray the last decade now this is the prayer give me joy in my heart that I may be an ambassador of your joy as Mother Mary was an ambassador of the joy of the Holy Spirit. And wherever she went after her total surrender to the Lord, everyone rejoiced. Elizabeth rejoiced. John the Baptist in the womb of Elizabeth rejoiced and began to dance. Lord you want me to be an ambassador of your joy joy is such a rarity around us everyone is sad and angry make me an ambassador of your joy give me love in my heart that I may serve make my life a service to everyone service without murmur and complaint the holy spirit is now being given to us filling our hearts that we may make a life a life of joy and peace and love 
with that prayer let us pray this last decade eternal father i offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ an atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful conclude this chaplet waiting to receive the blessing of the lord holy god holy mighty one holy mortal one have mercy on us and on the whole world holy god holy mighty one holy mortal one have mercy on us and on the whole world holy god Holy mighty one holy mortal one have mercy on us and on the whole world Oh, oh, oh. 
given them bread from heaven having in itself all delight let us pray lord jesus christ you gave us the eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death may our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the father and the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ true God and true man. Blessed be Jesus Christ true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit the Paraclete. Blessed be the Holy Spirit the Paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God Mary most holy. Blessed be the great mother of God Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary virgin and mother. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in His angels and in His saints. Blessed be God in His angels and His saints.
Divine Retreat Center presents to you a collection of spiritual masterpieces to enrich your journey with Jesus. How dear are you to those who know you? What is your true value? Discover how God looks at you. In this bestseller, you are precious to me. Life could have led you to several challenges and failures. Have you given up on yourself? Presenting to you the empowering truth of God's word that we are more than conquerors. Sure to give you that winning difference. Are all religions equal? Presenting the new release In Search of the Absolute that presents a critical analysis of this philosophical question. Life is a rich experience of the providence of God. Green Pastures, Still Waters is a collection of spiritual reflections that reveal how the shepherd leads us to the great promises of peace and fullness of life. The church invites us to contemplate the saving love of God presented in the passion, death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus. Divine offers moving meditations that will lead you to look to Jesus in the way of the cross. No Greater Love is a compilation of spiritual reflections that points out to us the incomparable love of God and the daring response of being Christian. When life seems impossible, God offers the Holy Spirit, power from above, a compilation of scripture-based reflections to help us understand and experience the promise of the anointing. Have you forgotten or missed important events? Divine presents a 10-year divine diary to bring order to your days, a great way to plan, recall and live.